Okay, so this is a separate reading from um, the primary reading because I felt like that reading was specifically for um, a select group of you. Um, if it's not, but for one person, because it was very, very specific. So I just wanted to come on and um, do another reading for you guys, just in case, you know, you didn't get anything out of the other one, okay? So here we go. It's pro probably going to be a little bit shorter than the other one, though. Okay, let's see where you guys are coming from in the past. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Something wanted to flip there, but it didn't. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What do they need to know for the month of December? December. Gemini. All right, guys. The sun. And I don't know why, but I think that this came up for you guys in the last reading. And this is self-actualization. This is, this is realizing who you are, what you want, and just knowing that you can do and be whatever it is that you want to. Um, feeling very secure in that, feeling very happy about um, the path that you've chosen, okay, in the past. Then we have the world card with cycles ending, karmic cycles ending, taking a leap of faith here, because if you see, um, the fool is in the middle and it's, you know, taking responsibility basically for what has happened in the past and, you know, just letting things be, you know, whatever happened um, has happened. So now a new karmic cycle is beginning as the world has ended one, okay? And what it looks like is that, you know, you were happy and you became aware of a certain situation that you felt like was not good for you. And I, I felt like you removed yourself from it because we're progressing here in the past, okay? Um, and so that cycle ended. So something else um, started. There, there's another karmic lesson that um, you are embarking on. And what I this is what I this is what I'm getting before I pull any other cards. Just with these three cards, is really telling me a story. I feel like there was something that you felt very happy and content around. The sun is also like ego. And sometimes, you know, having ego, of course, it's not bad. It's a part of being who we are. But sometimes too much ego can get in the way of things really prospering. You know, it may feel good in the moment, but you know, it may have dire consequences in the end. And I feel like that whatever it was that you felt very aware about um, brought you happiness. But when this cycle ended, I don't feel like you were quite as happy 
because when the cycle ended, it brought some other knowledge your way. I feel like you left something behind that that you realized probably you shouldn't. And I feel like this is you wanting to um, reunite with someone after a cycle has ended. And I feel like it's the same person that you were that you were dealing with in the previous cycle. But we're gonna get some cards to clarify here. As I was getting ready to start shuffling, I just happened to see, to look on the bottom of the deck. And if I see it, I have to say it, okay? And I don't always turn the deck over to look at it, um, but you know, sometimes I'm prompted to. So as I'm saying that, you know, you, you left a cycle with one person, when the cycle ended, it brought some information your way that made you realize something different in this person, something different within yourself that you walked away from before. But in walking away, you're wanting to come back. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers and see what is going on here. Okay. We have Cancer here. We have Leo energy. For some of you, I feel like some of you, I feel like you were very passionate about the connection with this person. I feel like there was a very familial bond and love between you. Okay. Some of you, there was not necessarily a lack of passion, but I feel like there was a complacency here where it became kind of stagnant. And then some of you decided to go ahead and end the relationship because it wasn't providing what you needed uh, sexually on an intimate level. And you decided to go out and start something over or try to basically get your groove back or, you know, find something more exciting here. Initially, this relationship started off as something very kind of whirlwind romance, kind of, but it ended. That ended. Let's see what this world card. Things were unclear. They were. But at the turn of this cycle, this karmic cycle ending, you're more than aware of how you feel at this point. Things are no longer, um, you no longer have blinders on. You no longer feel like, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. Look at this, the Knight of Cups. And the Moon card. Very emotional at this point very emotional about what transpired here in the past between um, you and your love interest and the energy can go vice versa guys 
very regretful, I feel. I just feel this heaviness. Like there was something that you wish you could do, wish you could change, wish you could say. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. I feel lots of Scorpio. I feel Scorpio strongly here. Somebody's feeling very, very regretful, wishing they hadn't done, um, made the decision that they made to walk away. Feeling very hurt behind it. Feeling very hurt behind it. I also feel like, like I was saying, that somebody walked away in the connection to go and explore, see what else was out there. You know, felt like the, the passion died. And here we have the Three of Cups with the Three of Swords. You know, it's indicative of somebody trying to hold down two people, juggling between two people, two situations. And I feel like whoever was doing the juggling is feeling very, they're, they're heartbroken because of what they did to you. They're heartbroken over the fact that the other person's heartbroken. This is what they realized in the past. This is the realization at hand right now. So if you feel like if you were the one that did this, you know who you are. But if the other person did this, then they know what they've done. And they know that it was not right, okay? And they go back and forth We have the two of wands. I'm looking at the cards if I'm not saying anything because I see the flightiness here. I see, you know, the, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups, you know, they're not grounded. They really don't have as much control over a situation as a king does. Okay, and Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, could be female, could be male, um, but this person still, they know where they want to go. They know they want to come towards you. They've been thinking and thinking and thinking about this thing, hoping and wishing that you come towards them or vice versa. But they don't feel like that's gonna happen, whoever this is. But they also are very wishy-washy. Like they haven't made a concrete decision to come towards you or you towards them. There's no concrete action being taken. All they know is that they love you, that you are very loving, you are the person they want to be with, Ideally, 
But I think their ego is getting in the way there because if you look at this card, that looks just like the sun right there. And I feel like their ego is getting in the way mostly because they left. They left so they feel like they should stay gone almost. They also know that the only way for them to have you or to have you in their life is for them to come towards you. They know that. They know that. They just have not made a concrete decision to do so. Oh. <sighs> oh, what a web we weave when we first conspire to deceive. Clarifying the Knight of Wands, we have the Tower card. You guys know what that is? <laughs> that is the breaking down of ego, okay? God will shake you to your core to get you to see what it is that you need to see. This person's ego is very, very fragile as well because they're on guard. This is the Knight of Wands. They're on guard trying to protect their ego here with the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person has been drinking or doing whatever it is like in excess to make themselves feel better here okay with that nine of cups being under the bottom they're hoping and wishing that you take them back hoping and wishing that you take them back now we have the eight of coins with the queen of coins clarifying the seven of coins here This is working diligently to build, to build up a foundation, to establish, to work on something steadily and consistently here. And I feel like this, this queen of coins, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, is really kind of sitting back and thinking about the work that they have put into this situation. Was it worth it? Did they contribute as much as they should have or could have? I feel like this person is really trying to get their finances together at this point as well because that may be a reason why this connection failed. One of the reasons why. Somebody could, could have felt very, um, very small in this connection due to finances. It's a lot of earth right there, a lot of earth energy. Somebody's just very, very focused on just trying to, 
you know, just just get to a point where they can feel secure within themselves. I like the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Coins. Hmm. This is this is what I'm feeling as I'm looking at these cards. I'm almost feeling like this is the third party because because this this energy is just kind of set aside from all this right here. We have a two of Pentacles here, which is juggling. And the Three of Swords there, clarifying the Three of Cups. And then we have all this Earth energy right here, which seems separate to me. So this makes me feel like the individual that, that stepped out, that they really want the Queen of Cups. They see themselves with the Queen of Cups, the person that they left. The person that they left behind. The person that they had a history with, that they closed out a cycle with. They really are rethinking that connection. Really hoping that they can have another chance here. They're really working hard at this point in time, I feel like, really, really focusing on work. And I don't feel like at this point that there is a, there's another person involved here, but I do believe it was this earth sign queen of coins person that was involved but their back is turned now and they're more hopeful about the connection that they closed out okay that's that energy they want to start anew they're looking at something totally new at this point thinking about offering something. I feel like there will be an offering made here at some point, whether it's an offer of marriage, whether it's just an offer of, you know, coming back together. Let's see what's going on. In the near future, we have a Four of Swords, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords here. Lots of thinking. I feel like this person was sleeping at some point and they slept on you or vice versa. You've got the three swords down here at the bottom. This person is sleeping on the realization of what happened here in these three swords. Whatever this means to you or to them, there is a realization, there, there is accountability, whether it's known to the other person or not, this person knows. This person knows. This is a sun in Gemini, okay? This is this is laying down the ego. We saw here presently that they are going through or will go through 
soon, a restructuring because whatever, whatever it is that this person was so flighty about whatever decision that they made based on their strong sense of ego is coming down. Yeah, it's coming down. Um, this is a rude awakening. And we see that here in the near future, that there's a realization of what has actually occurred this is the laying down of ego, laying down the burdens of, of thinking about betrayal, what has hurt you, what happened in the past, all that. That That is, you know, putting that to rest. At the same time, here we have the Nine of Swords. This is somebody that is trapped but it's imaginary like nine times out of ten what is keeping this person so fearful is not even real so if you think that they're cheating they're not or if you think that they're not they are you know it's something like that whatever it is that you're so focused on in this nine of swords think they're seeing somebody they're not this is not true. This is not real. This is an overactive imagination, okay? This is what this is. Let's see. Yeah. The four of swords being clarified by the knight of swords and three of coins is, you know, realizing what, what happened here. Taking a time out to reflect, to meditate, to get your mind right here. Because there's something that you realize during this meditation, self-reflection, you know, that makes you want to say, hey, I need to work on this thing. And you only continue to build on the three. So this is something that has transpired back here. Okay. Ooh. Uh -uh. Well, we'll take that one because I see it for one thing. And I'm just going to look at these other cards because... I don't just like to put them back in there, but I am going to pull from the deck. Okay, so what fell out is the Hanging Man, the Ten of Wands, and the Devil. Somebody's really, really, really beating themselves up. That's what this is. Burden, self-sacrificing, overthinking, overthinking here. That's heavy. Let me let me move on. Let me somebody's really overthinking here. And I feel strongly like missed opportunity, strong regret. Very strong regret. Very sad energy. Somebody's really fighting with themselves. And I feel like they were fighting, you guys were fighting a lot, period. Um, this person too is probably very easy to snap on anybody. Like, they will not be tested. Um, this is a lot of swords. This is a lot of swords, guys. Yeah. So, Gemini, if this is you, 
and you are feeling so trapped in your own thoughts. You know, the best thing to do is to really realistically think about what it is that you can do to change your situation. Realistically. Realistically, you can't talk. You've got a great mind. Away with words. So if it's actually reaching out to somebody that you need to do, then, you know, you'll get rid of these swords. You'll get rid of these swords right here. Go ahead and tell this person. Oh, okay. So here we go. You know what? I'm going to pull any more cards for that one because so many flipped out. So I'm just going to go with those. We have the King of Coins at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like you really want to take care of this person. You know in your heart that you want to take care of this person. You're passionate about this person. But you're confused here. Somebody's very confused here with the Seven of Cups. In your heart, you know what to do. You know who you are. We have about five or six cards here. Here we go with the Hanging Man again. Being stuck. Self-sacrificing. Not knowing what to do. Wanting to move, but like almost feeling boxed in. I feel like you've been praying. I feel like you've been praying for guidance on what to do, how you can fix this. You want to move. Look at that. Look at that. The Hierophant's right in between the page of wands and the page of coins. Wanting to offer something if it's nothing but an apology. I feel like you want I feel like you want your love back I feel like you want the person that you know you're destined to be with I really really do and if it's not you it's the other person okay energies can go both ways very strong here okay so Gemini's I will be speaking with you guys um, a little later on and um, alright see you later